Okay, this will be an interesting one. Let's see if we can make it look good. I wonder how big we're going to make it. Going to make it horizon horizontally. I'm going to make it 300. And vertical, I'm going to make it 300. To start with, we're going to make further adjustments to it as we go. Let's see if we can make it look good. Just going to make it a little bit contrasty. Just going to keep it there. Okay. Right, let's see how we go with this. Right, let's see what we do, what we've got. We've got here another music magazine, The Music. So that's that one. But we're not photocopying the front. We're doing something here. We're going to use, we're going to concentrate on this punk picture. We're going to make this punk look interesting. It's all brightly coloured, so I like it. Very angry looking punk. Looks like he's absolutely mad. But, you know, the world is full of things that irritate and things that annoy. Uh, so people just, you know, capitalism is something that drives people mad. And if people want to perform like that because they're angry at society, which punks often are. I think the punk movement originally was about rebelling against the status quo, like a lot of popular culture movements so I'm actually thinking we're going to maybe enlarge a little how much we're going to enlarge we're going to make the vertical uh, the vertical is going to be 260 and the horizontal is going to be also 260 so we've just changed our mind but yeah it's like a lot of things punk movement you know is against status quo from what I know I don't know much about it unfortunately but it, it was a rebellion I should look it up google it and get a better education because it's worth knowing about this once popular movement and it looks like we've made it still very big uh we're gonna make it it's actually that's quite a nice looking picture uh capturing we don't need to replicate it slavishly. We can just take that section and make it into something really nice as a mirror image. I'm just trying to straighten this bedding out. It's a bit wrinkled. It's on the wrinkly side. It's still a bit wrinkled. Uh, we're going to now print off another before we lose our settings. But yeah, this is a really interesting. I'm pretty sure it looks like a punk. Because punks used to wear mohawks and shit like that and safety pins. They used to get pierced with safety pins, that sort of shit. Uh, but it's understandable if people want to rebel because there's just no... Seems like there's no hope for the future, folks. The way the rich people are controlling the world. And the average person can't make any decision uh, on how the world is going to run. And there's just a whole lot of shit going down with big companies and they don't care. Uh, they don't give a flying fuck about the environment or the human race. And they have employ slave labour to build their stuff. Like, photocopier industry, I'm pretty sure, would use slave labour, but I don't, I can't verify that because the photocopier factory, there's no video or any kind of information I have on what goes on in a photocopier factory like Konica Minolta. I don't know. I can only just guess from what I've heard of other places like Foxconn, uh, which manufactured uh, Apple products. I can only gather from what I've heard about Foxconn and the suicides in the factory. Uh, basically, that was in the news, but unfortunately I, have, I can't get any evidence to back what I suspect is true is probably true and that is that there'll be slave labour and sweatshop conditions in Konica Minolta 
and also Xerox and other brands that make their stuff predominantly in China. Sorry about the curls, folks. I, this is not good. It doesn't look too good. It's ruined the image. But you can see pretty much what it's meant to be. I think now we can call this demo quits.